Proclamation by President Nelson Chamisa, the CCC leader. Everyone and everything everywhere is dated by rigging elections. Although the recent financial development is extremely unsettling. It is also a sign of the corrupt politics and inadequate governance that resulted from a contentious, faulty, and fraudulent election. I've heard that banks are no longer lending US dollars. This will have significant effects on business, industry, and the overall economy. 94% of loans as of June 2023 are in USD, according to our BZ data, with 6% of all loans being in ZWL. Of the total deposits, 88% were made in USD, and 12% were made in ZWL. Undoubtedly, the share of ZWL deposits would be very near to 0% if the dollars under the mattresses were put into the banking sector. This effectively indicates a dollarization of the economy. Given this, if reports indicating banks have ceased to grant USD loans are accurate, it essentially indicates that the banking system has been severed from the economy as a whole. And its doom is imminent. ZWL cannot be used to replace USD since there is a limited amount of ZWL. Also, switching to ZWL loans is not feasible due to the interest rate of 150% annually. This is equivalent to depriving a live thing of its oxygen, if the development is real. Unimaginable turmoil will result from the 49% of Zimbabweans who currently live in abject poverty. Economic problems that follow will probably lead to an increase in extreme poverty and emigration to nearby nations. The economic crisis in Zimbabwe is now a domestic crisis within SADC. The nation is suffering from a quashiorker of leadership, a drought of effective government, and rot in constitutionalism. Majority rule, a people's government, and the restoration of democracy and basic freedoms must all return to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe requires a government that is capable, accountable, and responsible. <laughs>